How's it going guys? Will here. And I just had to shoot that entire sequence twice. I had the shutter speed, the ISO, the aperture all set right, forgot to check my frame rate and accidentally shut the whole thing in 24 FPS and only realized when I went to go switch back to 24 FPS. Today, I thought we'd try something different. It's currently 5 p.m. I've spent the entire day editing so far. I'm also currently working on the iPhone XR review. That took a little longer than expected. And all of a sudden, I realized I didn't have a video for tomorrow. So today, I thought we'd try something different. I may or... Wind. So for today's video, I thought we'd have a chill vlog, but I also wanted to make it techy and educational. So I thought we'd talk about one of the weirdest facts about smartphones. First, I gotta go home though, because uh, I mean, I'm in a field. I've historically shot quite a lot of B-roll in this field. Last year they did that horrible yellow plant, I forget what it's called, so I'm glad that this year, it's not. This looks way better. Also, I wanted to say, I know this is kind of weird, but this, by far my favorite weather. There is very little that can be overcast summer slash autumn. I love shooting, it's usually a good temperature, and yeah, very much a personal favorite. Okay, I'm back. Just wanna say, I've recently been trying out the Apple shortcuts. Often I'll leave my phone somewhere where I can't find it. So I set up a shortcut called, where are you? If you can see that, it essentially, Sets the volume to max, then uh, play Samurai Sword. Where are you? So today, we're gonna be talking about phone batteries, specifically why phone batteries inevitably do get worse. I wanna give two disclaimers. First of all, this is gonna get nerdy. Second of all, I'm not claiming to be an expert on this. I have done a good amount of research in the past because I find things like batteries and voltages, stuff like that, super interesting. That said, again, I'm not an expert. I also needed to avoid going too nerdy, so there was that as a constraint too. But in essence, here's why phone batteries do inevitably go bad. So myth number one, it's usually not because of software updates. Now those can have an impact on the performance, but if it was truly down to software, then laptops that were like running Windows XP 10 years ago and just weren't updated would still be running well today and obviously they're not. It can be a key factor on power draw though some up-to-date apps may not be optimized to work on that older hardware so it may draw more power but that's not the main reason. The main reason is because of what these batteries are made of. So pretty much all phone batteries along with laptop batteries, camera batteries, a lot of electronics nowadays use a type of battery known as lithium ion batteries. Now these are mostly great. They charge quickly, they don't need like a jump start if they run flat and they're relatively safe but because because of how they're physically built, they will essentially wear out over time, meaning they physically can't hold as much charge. Before we get into it, we need to talk about electricity. Now, I think a good way of describing the flow of electricity is kind of like how water flows through a hose pipe. Now, this is another reason why I don't recommend those crazy tight cable management situations. That's not for today though, this video would be like an hour long if I talked about all of it. By the way, I hope I'm explaining this right. I've tried to make it not too dumbed down, but also not too nerdy. So hopefully it still makes sense. Essentially, in a lithium ion battery, there are three layers, anode, cathode, electrolyte. The process of the lithium ions traveling from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte, this is, in essence, again, without getting too nerdy, is what gives phones power. And when you go to charge a phone, the lithium ions will go through the electrolyte again, but in the opposite direction. Hence why lithium ion batteries are rechargeable. However, because we're dealing with physical materials, they do end up wearing down over time as the lithium ions travel through the electrolyte. Therefore, this means it physically can't hold as much charge as it once could. A lot of phones will now represent present this loss in an easy to read max capacity. Also, some laptops like my MacBook will be able to display charge cycles, which I forgot to mention before. That's just the process of the lithium ions going through the electrolyte then back again. So that would be considered one charge cycle. Now let's talk about the software side of things. Now there have over the years been a few cases of manufacturers throttling phones, usually based on either the age or the condition of the battery. And this is unfortunately one of the downsides to these lithium ion batteries that we now use in a lot of devices, such as, as I said, laptops, cameras, and phones. Okay, nerdy battery session over. As I said before, I find this stuff interesting. And as someone who reviews a lot of phones on this channel, I do think it's important that we do occasionally talk about how these things actually work. So yeah, in essence, that's a nerdy, but not too nerdy explanation of how phone batteries do gradually get worse over time. Anyway, let's go do something else. Just realized I haven't made coffee using this new camera yet. Let's go give it a go.
you guys seen the new PS5 yet? It looks pretty interesting. I know it is certainly a unique looking console. I'm gonna be honest, I actually think it looks pretty good though. The long awaited iPhone XR review will be out on Monday. All right guys, so I know this has been a short one, but as I said, I've had a ton to do this week. And then before I knew it, there was no video for Thursday or Friday. So hopefully this one was interesting. All right guys, so that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you wanna see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now and I will see you guys on Monday.